Bada boom, really guys in the room. How you doing guys? This is Nick here and I'm going to be doing a DVD review of Wrestlemania 20 where it all begins again. As you can see the covers in front of me. And let's get into the review shall we? Right. Wrestlemania where it all begins again was of course in Madison Square Garden. And the first match of the evening was the Big Show versus John Cena. Uh, this is this definitely show why Cena became a 15-time champion, as uh, this match definitely proved he was a star in the making. Uh, then we went into a backstage segment with the coach in Eric Bischoff's office. Uh, Bischoff wanted Coach to find The Undertaker and Coach was like in panic mode. Eric Bischoff was serious when he said find the dead man, which uh, Coach went on to do. We had then a, another backstage segment with uh, Orton, Batista and Ric Flair, uh, obviously talking about the Rock and Sock connection. It was a very good promo. Then we went into the uh, World Tag Team title freeway for, no, four way, sorry, for Raw. And it was RVD, Booker T versus the Dudley Boys versus Garrison Cade and Mark Gindrak versus La Resistance. Uh, yeah, I didn't like that particular fatal four way. I think the uh, Smackdown one was far better in my opinion. Uh, backstage coach was looking for The Undertaker. Uh, good little spot. Christian Ivrico versus Christian. Uh, match between two former friends turned bit of rivals. That's an epic uh, match at WrestleMania 20. Uh, backstage a Mick Foley interview. Then we went on to the two or three handicap tag team match, the Rock and Sock Connection versus Evolution. Uh, probably uh, a mediocre effort really from Foley, considering this was a comeback for him. The Hall of Fame class of 2004 then was introduced by Howard Finkel. Uh, good choice for the Hall of Fame that year, by the way. And we went into the first ever Playboy evening gown match. Sable and Tori Wilson versus Stacey Keebler and Miss Jackie. Uh, another, another mediocre effort really. Uh, then we went into the fans of WrestleMania talking about the show. Cool backstage segment then from two departed legends, Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit. I think that was a cool little segment. Then we went into the Cruiserweight Championship Open. It was uh, Chavo Guerrero defending the title against Jamie Noble, Finucky, Ultimo Dragon versus Rey Mysterio versus Nunzio versus Tajiri versus Shannon Moore versus Billy Kidman. That was a cool uh, championship match. Uh, definitely check, check that out if you intending on buying this DVD because that is a uh, epic encounter probably one of my favorite matches on the card as well that one and then we went into the interpromotional match Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar with Stone Cold Steve Austin as the special guest referee uh, and the fans booed the hell out of both wrestlers during this match probably because both guys were leaving to do their respective uh, career choices but obviously that didn't go too well as both men are back now and both guys will be having another rematch at the Survivor Series of this year. Hopefully the uh, reception this time around is better than the uh, WrestleMania 20 match but I think the only other issue as well with uh, these guys having a rematch is uh, at the Survivor Series is both men are past their prime now. Both men have, are older and uh, they're Conditioning's not like it was in the first encounter. It's just a shame that the uh, crowd wasn't into this one and was booing both guys. And McMahon comes out and thanks everyone for making WrestleMania well, this particular one where it all begins again. And then it was the fatal four way for the WWE Tag Team Championship. 
Scotty Too Hotty and Rikishi versus the APA versus the Bashams versus the World's Greatest Tag Team. I think this was probably the better Fatal 4-Way of the two Tag Team title matches. This was definitely, I think, the better of the two Fatal 4-Ways as this one focused more on the action a bit more, I'd say. Then we went into a... Uh, segment with Jesse the Body Ventura interviewing uh, Donald Trump uh, was alright, nothing too special then we went into the women's title match uh, Hair versus title Victoria versus Molly Holly uh, yeah that, that was pretty cool that one seeing what happens to Molly Holly after was just funny I think it suits her with a shaved head and it was the WWE title match, uh, Eddie Guerrero versus Kurt Angle. Epic match of the night. That should have been the last match on the card, in my opinion. I enjoyed that so much better than the uh, triple threat match with Michaels, Triple H and Benoit. I think Eddie Guerrero versus Kurt Angle uh, didn't get the attention it deserved, I felt. I felt that should have been the match of the night, because you'll see how great both men performed in that match and I think that should have been the last match as I said the uh, Undertaker vs Kane match was next uh, wasn't too keen on this one I think the Wrestlemania 14 match was far better than this time around because I think again like I said with Goldberg and Lesnar you know if they had this rematch at the Survivor Series I think it was just the same with Undertaker and Kane at this particular Mania both men were past their prime and uh, the conditioning wasn't there and uh, you could definitely see the conditioning was there in their Mania 14 match and that will never, that doesn't hold a candle to, you know, the first encounter because I thought that was the best. The, this one was just okay, it uh, wasn't great at all. Then we went into the Triple Threat World Heavyweight Championship match with Shawn Michaels, Triple H and Benoit. That was uh, okay. Uh, nice little moment for Chris Benoit at the end with Eddie Guerrero in the ring both crying and holding their respective titles. I thought that was the cool little spot. And then at the end uh, we had a WrestleMania 20 recall highlighting all the best action from the night little like video package plenty of extras confidential the rock and sock connection new york press conference pre-match comments from billy kid and rey mysterio molly holly mean gene oakland post-match comments from john cena rvd and booker t mick foley big show christian chavo guerrero and chavo Classic, Superstar Billy Graham, Molly, Holly and the fans. Sunday Night Heat, Dudley Boys vs Lance Storm with Val Venus. Fight this with Eddie Guerrero. TV prom promo, WrestleMania 20, Triple H vs Shawn Michaels vs Chris Benoit. Brock Lesnar vs Goldberg, Kane vs Undertaker, Eddie Guerrero vs Kurt Angle. The Rock and Sock vs Evolution, they were like the promos. And then extras on disc three, Mania of WrestleMania, WrestleMania's 10 greatest matches ever, and uh, WrestleMania gallery, and a trivia, like a uh, quiz telling you about like different matches at Mania, that's pretty cool. Yeah guys, that was my WrestleMania 20 DVD review. Hope you enjoy it guys, okay? And uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, okay? And tell me what you thought of my review, okay? Bye!